Paul Lockyer was one of the ABC's most experienced and respected journalists. In recent years, his dedicated reporting from the rural areas of Australia earned him widespread respect as the voice of the outback. He began his career in the ABC's Perth office and went on to cover some of the biggest stories in the world, including the Khmer Rouge, Rouge atrocities in Cambodia and the Sydney Olympics. Tony Eastley reflects on a friend and a long-time colleague. A country boy from Western Australia, Paul Lockyer began his career as a cadet at the ABC in Perth in 1969, quickly showing he could cover any story on any subject. And he said it would prevent a Governor-General ever again being placed in the invidious position of having to dismiss a government. He had a flair for going right to the heart of a story. As a foreign correspondent, he reported on the Khmer Rouge's atrocities in Cambodia and the exodus of the boat people from Vietnam. Vietnam holds hopes that 1984 can finally produce signs of economic recovery. In the ABC's Washington Bureau, he covered the political instability in Nicaragua and El Salvador. He spent the 1990s at Channel 9. If you can go back to someone the next day, especially if you've done a tough story, and they'll still talk to you, that's a test of whether you've done it right, and they always talk to lockers. Paul Lockyer was the face of the ABC's Olympic coverage. Amazing scenes uh, as the torch made its way down around the Opera House. Over the past decade, Paul Lockyer told the story of rural Australia like no other, winning the Centenary Medal in 2003 for his reports on the drought. Ideally, Paul would be standing under eight metres of water. He, more than anyone else I can think of in journalism, uh, probably bridged the gap between the bush and the cities. It was his warmth and ability to draw people out that made him an exceptional journalist. The people he interviewed trusted him. I was surprised one day to receive a card in the mail from him saying thank you to me. Well, I thought I should have been the one saying thank you to him. He was the first to document the devastation wrought on Grantham by the dreadful Queensland floods. A flood of unimaginable size and force tore this community apart. What happened here yesterday? <laughs> Armageddon. What he done for this town it was fantastic. He is one of the best journalists I've ever spoke to. That he could understand the emotion of a story where people might be devastated or suffering uh, without wearing his heart on his sleeve. Uh, people felt that he understood them when he was there to tell their story. From time to time, Paul Lockyer hosted news and current affairs programs. Hello and welcome to the Midday Report. I'm Paul Lockyer. But he always yearned to get back to the bush, especially with helicopter pilot Gary Ticehurst. Paul Lockyer had just finished writing a book about Lake Eyre and he said he had the best job at the ABC. His wife Maria says for 38 years, Paul was her soulmate and he was such a loyal friend to so many. She's got the boys around her, so they're good support, but it's a very tight family, so they'll survive. He had a career spanning 40 years, but Paul was not one to go quietly and ease up on his work. He was as enthusiastic as ever, ready to shoulder up for one more yarn, as he would say. Another story to tell. Tony Easley with that report.